Hello, my name is Arndt Vogel. I'm a hepatologist from uh, Toronto in Canada. And I would like to discuss with you the um, LEAP-012 study. The LEAP-012 study is a large phase three study investigating the efficacy of the combination of TACE plus lenvatinib and pembrolizumab in the intermediate stage of HCC. The study was positive. The primary endpoint was progression-free um, survival and the combination resulted in a significantly longer progression-free survival compared to TACE alone. Additionally, the response rate measured by M-Resist or Resist 1.1 was clearly increased with the combination compared to TACE alone. In terms of safety, we have to admit that the combination of TACE plus lenvatinib and pembrolizumab adds some toxicity, so the frequency of grade 3 and higher side effects increased um, with the combination compared to taste monotherapy, as we would have expected from the data from the LEAP002 study. But there were no new safety concerns. This is a positive study, and it confirmed the concept. So in the same journal of the Lancet, also the data from the Emerald 1 study have been published. In this study, the efficacy of taste plus dovalumab and bevacizumab were evaluated, and similarly, to the LEAP study, progression-free survival and overall response rate were significantly improved with the combination compared to the monotherapy. So we have now two positive studies in intermediate HCC confirming that the combination is more effective measured by the primary endpoint progression-free survival compared to the monotherapy. One question now is that despite two positive studies, this concept has not been widely adopted in clinical practice, at least to my um, knowledge. And the question is why? One certainly is that the combination has not yet been approved by FDA and EMR, and we have to wait for the final approval. But maybe another concern is that we have not yet seen the overall survival data. For the LEAP study, we have seen that there is a trend to an improved overall survival while for the Emerald study, we have seen no data so far. However, in both studies, the overall survival data are not yet major. And I think most of us really want to see these data to decide whether we want to apply this concept to a broader part of our patients in the intermediate stage um, HCC. Additionally, considering the higher rate of uh, side effects with the combination, it would also be important to see more quality of life data, and I think it would be reassuring if we do see a delay in a deterioration of quality of life, which we know will eventually occur in patients with more advanced um, HCC. Another problem that may be of concern for the implementation of this concept is that in many countries and continents, taste is not so widely used anymore. It was our preferred standard of care treatment in the intermediate stage. But with the more recent data on Y90, we have seen that more and more colleagues use Y90 instead of TAIS. And the question is, can we extrapolate the data from the two TAIS studies to combinations of Y90 plus immunotherapy? And I think probably we also want to see more data in this respect. And there are some studies which evaluate Y90 plus immunotherapy. And I would strongly recommend to, to support these studies to include as many patients as possible. So my conclusion would be we have two positive phase three studies in the intermediate stage for the combination of TACE plus immunotherapy-based um, systemic therapy. I personally think that we should consider this concept more frequently in clinical practice. I agree that we need to get more data, specifically overall survival data, and um, quality of life data. But even without an overall survival benefit, I think it's still worthwhile to consider this concept in intermediate stage, given the high response rate, which are up to 70% by Emresist in the LEAP12 study. I think that we have really interesting tools now available for downsizing and downstaging. And I think this would also be a step forward in intermediate stage HCC if we could convert more patients to potentially curative um, treatment. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you are interested in more data, 
please see the flashcard for download.